you for joining us today to learn more about the Word of God. Today, but first, but first let us go pray. Pledge to the Bible. I have, I have pledged allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path, and hide its word in my heart, that I may not sin against God. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag, to the Christian flag and to the Savior, for whose kingdom it stands, one brotherhood, uniting all mankind in service and in love. Amen. So today's lesson will be the advocate. Our reading will be coming out of first John what verse first John chapter one to one verse eight through chapter two verse 2. The golden text says, if anybody does not have sin, we have, does, if anybody does sin, we have an advocate with the Father Jesus Christ, the righteous one. That will be chapter 1, verse, 1 John chapter 2, verse 1. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. My little children, these things I write to you. So that you may not sin. If anybody sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he himself is the proportion of our sin. And not only ours, but for also the whole world. May God bless the hearers and doers of this word for the good and edifying of our heart, our mind, our spirit, and our soul. The advocate. From a Florida prison cell in June 1962, Clarence Earl Gideon wrote a note asking for the United States Supreme Court to review his conviction for a crime that he said he didn't commit. He added that he didn't have the means to hire a lawyer. One year later, in the historic case of Gideon versus Wade Wright, the Supreme Court ruled that people who could not afford the cost of their own defense must be given a public defender, an advocate provided by the state. With this decision, and the, with the help of a court-appointed lawyer, lawyer, Clarence Gideon was retried and acquitted. But what if we are not innocent? According to the Apostle Paul, we are all guilty. But the court of heaven provides an advocate who, at God's expense, offers to defend and care for our soul. On behalf of his Father, Jesus comes to us as offering a freedom that even prison inmates have described as better than anything they've experienced on the outside. It is a freedom of heart and mind. Whether suffering for the wrongs done by us or to us, we all can be represented by Jesus. By the highest of authority, he responds to every request for mercy, forgiveness, comfort. Jesus, our advocate, can turn a prison of lost hope, fear, or regret into the place of his presence. So basically what this means would be you Jesus is always on your side. I don't even know how to put into words how amazing it is that no matter what you do 
Forgiveness will be there for you. Jesus is there for you. Jesus is there to take care of you. Jesus is there to love you. He is there to be kind to you. Matter of fact, I even have a poem to read. One night a man had a dream. He dreamed he was walking across the beach with the Lord. Across the sky flashed scenes from his life. For each scene, he noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. One belonged to him and the other belonged to the Lord. When the last scene of his life flashed before him, he looked back at the footprints in the sand and he noticed that many times along the path of his life, there was only one set of footprints. He also noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest times of his life. This really bothered him and he questioned the Lord about it. Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I've noticed that during the most troublesome times in my life, there is only one set of footprints. I don't understand why when I needed you most, you will leave me. But hear this. The Lord replied, my precious, precious child, I love you. And I would never leave you during your times of trial and suffering when you only see that one set of footprints. It was me that carried you. And it's true. It is so true. That one set of footprints is when the Lord was carrying you. So he cares for you. He loves you. He, he cares. He didn't let you. He didn't leave you. He was there for you. He is your advocate. Somebody say amen. Isn't he a great big God? Father in the name of Jesus and in heaven. Please help us to know what it means to have your love and presence. We may experience this free freedom even in places that we've only seen as our confinement. The one who died as our substitute now lives as our advocate. Father, in the name of Jesus, may God bless our may God bless what our eyes have seen, what our ears have heard. Thank you. For the holy word you bestowed upon us today. Lord, I'm in that place again on my knees. Laying out my life before you. Thank you that on the cross you cried. It is finished. Let this word rest, rule and abide. And in us at this time and forevermore. Let all of God's people say. Amen. May God go with you in peace. Take it to the